Hello, it's Shoshi from Shoshi's Minis, and I want to say hello to everybody's in chat. We have Super Sarah and Steve Amy Texas, Nixon Minis, Cat Leanne, Miso13. Hello, everybody. Proto Maker. It's Friday. <laughs> I'm playing the new music because I figured out, and tell me if you think it's too loud, because I figured out it doesn't bother me as much when it's a little bit quieter. So it seems like it works for me when it's at like a low level. Yay! 13 Monoton, pro oh, Proto Maker, holy cow. 13 months. So I'm gonna write down my husband's name for su subscribing to me, thank you. That's so sweet. <laughs> if your husband doesn't subscribe to you, who will, right? Okay, so we've got subscribers. And um, as you guys know, we are giving away painted minis for new subscribers. Every, so actually some sub points. You guys, have you seen these? 
These are the minis that we're going to be giving away. Um, we have a Otter Ranger with the bow, and I need to adjust my color just a smidge, I think. And um, the Druid Ranger. And Super Sarah has a question. In her chat box, whenever it gets full, the part that you type in gets lower until I'm no longer able to type it in or retrieve it. Has this happened? I think it happens to me, but I don't know what to do about it. Hey, greetings from Slovakia. Next to minis. Happy anniversary. 16 months in a row. I forgot to write down Proto Maker. Nixton Minis and Nixton. Here we go. He's sub subbing at the tier three level, which is awesome. He's been getting the coaching from me. If you sub at the tier three level, you can message me and set up a time and we'll give you um, a half hour of free virtual mini painting coaching. There we go. Um, also, so I want to put this down. We currently, oh my gosh, so we currently have 211 sub points out of 225 to open, unlock our next emote. So we, we recently just unlocked um, our 200 slot emote, so I'm going to be getting that designed. And um, in fact, I need to put my face cam on. There we go. And so once we unlock the next emote, we're only... What is it? 11, 25 minus 11 is four. No, I cannot do math. Oh my God. It's just, okay. 14, right? 14, 14 points. That doesn't seem right. That seems right. 14 points. Tell me if I'm wrong. You lovely people with your math abilities. <laughs> and, um, yeah. So once we unlock that other remote, we'll have another one. And, we're doing this as kind of a run because we're so close and it's one of those things that once you unlock emotes, you always have them for the channel. So we're just doing this as long as we can. And, and one, I, mean, which I should show you this again. Let's do overhead. There we go. One, tier one subscribe equals one point. So tier one equals one, one point. Tier two equals two points and there we go two points and tier three equals six points which is crazy so i thought that we could do our giveaway um for every six points we make which we just got 11 so i think i think we're ready where well, we need one more point and we're going to give away both minis because that that's six points for each mini so one more tier sub, new one. It has to be a new one. And we'll give away two minis. I'm so excited. We're gonna do it. And then we'll do it again every six points after that. So, meanwhile, we're going to paint Captain Ahab from scale 75. 14, thank you, Nanalise. <laughs> That's amazing. So, Captain Ahab is a bust. He, he's a one half scale. From scale 75 i love that they have both the front and the back of the bust on the box they also have this lovely color chart and we're going to try to dissect and reconstruct julio cabos's beautiful box art here i'm going to show you i pulled out all of the colors so i have all of these are all the colors that are used that are on that on that chart and that's it and i think there might be like a little bit of ink on this gun um, and other than that there might be a little bit of black ink I don't know but really this is all the colors we're gonna use so you can see um, we're, this won't this won't be a paint along but I mean you probably would be able to paint along with it I mean we'll just have to see how it goes so I thought I'd see we've got all the parts already built and primed did I finish the panda? No, Amberden. We're going to do that on Wednesdays, so it's going to stay on the same nights. Um, and then we're going to do the bust on the Tuesdays and Thursdays because that way Scale 75, which is already in Europe, can go ahead and retweet and help self, you know, help promote or cross promote. So it would they'll all be in bed if I do it. Well, it'll be late for them, so they'll probably be home not working if I do it then. So this way, we'll do the panda on Wednesdays. 
and we'll do this on, t on, on Mondays and Fridays. So these are the four parts. We have a hand with the pipe, we have the coat, and we have the gun, and we have the head. So, hey, serial killer, oh my gosh, it's been a while, how are you? Mike, I don't know if Mike is on. Mike, he's not done with his pilot's license. He's got a little ways to go on it. I think he's hoping to get it done before fall because we're gonna get more bad weather by then. Sarah's primed her Phoenix armor set this morning. Can't wait to work on them today. Yay. Are you gonna do that while we paint? And then Miso says, how, how many of those cartoon minis have you painted finished? I saw you painting Panda and Bear only. So I painted, I painted the Panda well, in painting the panda, I painted the Viking bear, the sharky pirate, which um, didn't come with the Kickstarter, but it was separate. And I painted the the Kong, Vi uh, Warlord Kong. So those are the four, I've, so four total, but I have some more. I got all of the Kickstarter sculpts and except for the eagle I gave away, and there was a lion I didn't get, so I have all the others. Hi, in Lamunas. Oh, you'll be working while me. Okay, that's right. Hello, Slave D1, Viking Bear Yav. Um, Kat Leanne, go on my Instagram, Instagram at Shoshi's Minis, and then you can see the Viking Bear. He's on there. He ended up getting sold uh, to Larry Elmore, who is one of the famous D&D &D artists from the, you know, the red box set and stuff. I ended up trading, trading that bear for um, one of his books that he signed, and and uh, that was pretty dang cool. All right, what should we start with? Let's look at the overhead. <laughs> All right, what do you think? Shall we? I think we kind of should start with the gun, but I want to get your opinion. We could start with the face, the coat, the hand with the pipe or the gun, probably should do the hand with the pipe after we do the face. So I would say, you guys pick, which which one do you want me to start with? I think the gun's gonna be the hardest, so that's the one I kinda wanna start with first. It's all non-metallic non metal. Sharky Pirate was not, I don't think I streamed him. No, I did, it was it was a long time ago. It might've been when you, before you started watching. And the moon is working as well, but we'll be checking in now and then. Awesome. So what do you guys think? Love the wood and the leather panel. Okay, so we got one one vote for wood. Face, because it sets the mood for the rest. So we got face. Do you post all finished minis on your Instagram? I try to. I don't, I am, I'll be honest. I, I probably only post like the best stuff and all the commissions for sure. But uh, I try. I think part of why I don't post all of my stream stuff on Instagram is because it it doesn't, it's not always to the quality that I want to show off, you know what I mean? Because, uh, you know, I, would, I don't have to take, I have to take my glasses off a lot and I'm not able to always get the quality. I'm very, very hard on myself. <laughs> all right, so we got face and gun so far. I think, I think we're, le I'm leaning toward gun still. Does anybody have, we got one more vote? Let's see what you guys think. There's Ahab, he's looking at you guys. Do the body first, oh, thank you, next. And now we got three choices. All right, one more to break the tie. One more. You guys are not helping me. <laughs> the body is gonna be a lot of wet blending. The face, the gun. Okay, I'm gonna pick the gun. Thank you, Nanalise. I wanted to do that anyway, so let's look. Let's see, I'm gonna put that away. Let's put all of this away so that way I don't worry about losing it. I'm really good at losing stuff. And we'll put it straight back in here so that I really don't lose it. Find a pocket and only paint the pocket only. <laughs> Does he have a pocket? No, no pockets. Well, I guess the gun is sort of, the, the holster is sort of a, a gun pocket. Mm. All right, let's look at our beautiful list. I only have the best stuff. I know, I know I should post them. It's hard. <laughs> All right, so I know for sure, I'm looking for the color that I know for sure it's gonna have some orange leather in it. 
I'm looking at the box. Let's see. Because look, you can you can see the orange leather right there. We're gonna need all the all the non-metallic gold colors. So those are for sure. And that one I think. And that one I think. Hmm, maybe. Yep. Non-metallic gold. Okay. And then we're gonna definitely need some black and let's see white for sure there's white all right so flat black white dude, dude i kind of dig this music now today like the other day it was like irritating to me but it's like just the lowest amount of volume that i think i can deal with it much easier now oh i like this color white sands i think we might end up using some of that as well all right then we need a darker brown Let's see, maybe he mixed it. Ah, there it is. Brown leather, perfect. And then it also looks like we used some walnut, maybe. It kind of looks like he used walnut on this. I love deconstructing Julio's work and trying to figure out what he did. And I think it's really good practice for all of you guys to do that. Try to figure, try to copy somebody's stuff and see what you get. All right, so look at this. This is the metal for the gun right here, and I know it used this color because that's the highlight. And he used a tiny bit of white also. It looks like he mixed whatever blue and gray that he's got. He's only got a couple blues in this palette. There's this abyssal blue. I'm gonna turn that down just a smidge. It didn't work, did it? Okay, there we go. Abyssal blue, I mean, I think I'm gonna use that, yeah. All right, that's, and then there's this little bit of Adriatic blue, Adriatic blue. I think there might be some of that in there as well. All right, the rest, I don't, I'm gonna set this aside because I think that might be our whole palette. And I think there's an ink in here too, but we'll, we'll deal with that later. All right, so we wanna start with the inside out. And so we wanna start with the, the wood on the gun all right, so where's my gun? Here we go. Derp, derp, derp. Okay, and I got my nice, nice brush. Where's my nice, nice brush? You need to buy a bunch of PZ, PVC pipe so you can make a paint rack. Oh, that's cool. Good evening, Zykolos. How are you? Oh, I should write this up here. Sub point, sub point goal. Goal, goal is goal to unlock. Giveaway. There we go. I like this. All right. You try to copy me all the time, it doesn't work so well. But you know what? You always learn something anyway, right? <gasps> in a dead pan, three months in a row. Thank you so much for subscribing. Eight months in a row, sorry, tier three. Oh my gosh. Agent deadpan. Thank you. And also, don't forget, you can message me if you ever want to get the coaching because you are at the tier three. Um, it's one of those things where my um, subscribers have to, they have to message me in order to get it. All right, so here's my brown leather. I'm gonna shake it real good. Good morning, Draco80. Good morning, Mad Goat06. Well, it's afternoon for me, but good afternoon, everybody. Any ETA on the vampire bus? Yes, we're gonna be working on that very soon. I'm gonna be painting that. Um, I'm still working, I'm like this October. So I promise it will be done. We are gonna work on it this month for sure. That's why I'm like eager to start it. I just need to finish up the, the um, finish up the uh, color analysis so that way we can get a PDF to you guys. All right, here we go. Brown leather. We're gonna put a little bit of that. We're gonna load up this palette. Yay, Twitch fixed the app and you can watch this week. Yay. That's good. Hey, Mr. Snowy, Snowy Act, the island painter. Let's do a little bit of orange leather. We're gonna shake that up. The orange leather always 
gets a lot of medium, so I want to make sure to shake it good. Oh, that one has a lot of medium in it too. I just noticed that. There, that's better. That one, that one got shook well. Let's try this again. Luckily, I put enough. There we go. Yay. All right, and then I'm thinking it, the rest is going to be inks. Maybe purple, a little bit of purple, a little bit of brown ink. It might be it. It looks really simple. The wood grain is basically brown on brown. And we'll just do the we'll do that first and see what happens. All right, we're set. Ah, I'm dropping stuff. What did I drop? I dropped the mouse. I'll get that. And I'll, I'll get that in a minute. All right, so I'm going to start with my my brown and my reference over here so I can look at it. I love the fact that this is and so do you guys see that I've already got my zenithal priming in here? But of course, this might end up being, this might end up being covering most of it. So I want to follow the lines. So one of the things I do, I want to show you guys a trick to be able to get really clean painting is do the outline of whatever you're painting first. So that whole thing right there isn't even supposed to be this right here is not even supposed to be brown, so I'm gonna get that, get rid of that. Funny, I forgot that I had adjusted the camera so I can actually hold this a lot closer than I normally do. There we go. Do the outline and then color in the middle faster. It's it'll get things painted smoother. Ahab, yeah, you couldn't tag me. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's put another little quick, quick coat. Right over here, jump over to this side. And that is, that is it for that side. And then over here, it's this whole gun stock. Is that what this is called, the stock? Does anybody know the technical terms for gun parts? You can learn something new on the channel. All right. And what's interesting is this like hollow part. I'm not really sure if that serves any actual gun function or if it's just for de decoration or what. Yes, is the stock. Hey, Voodoo Von Asabath, how are you? Good. So, Amberton, didn't you say you were going to go to um, a, uh, didn't you say you're going to go to a, a workshop this weekend? Miso says, are you using a smaller well palette or the larger version? It is the smaller one. It's because I um, don't have a lot of room on my desk, so I don't mind using the smaller one. I did use the larger one when I painted the plaques, and that was because um, they, they were big and you needed a lot of paint for that. So I would say for bigger projects, I wouldn't hesitate to use the big one. Um, but like we're just painting this gun today, you know, so we just need the small one and it fits nice on my desk. I'm going a little bit more opaque on this side here. I gotta take glasses off for a second while I get this little edge. Try to paint that clean. The more clean that you paint your layers, then less you have to go back and clean up. There's a big brush mark over here. Might not be able to get it all out. Okay. Ooh, I like that. See, I'm kind of digging this music now. Oh, 
course, I'm in a much better mood than I was last time. Wednesday, I was, I was in a mood. You could kind of tell. I don't know if you saw on stream. Just had a, I think I was tired. I think I, yeah, I think I was just overtired. All right, so that, that really needs to dry. Do you see how thin that is? We need to go back and repaint everything. And get all the layers coated. This is all just using that first color. This is the brown leather. That's all that I'm using right now. Okay, I'm gonna put glasses back on so I can read chat for you guys. I like talking to you. Good so far, good. Hi, Jcrad, how are you? It's likely just decoration, but could also be used as a cheek mold for a shooter is so easily find the best position. There's a little, there's a little, look at this though. There's a little like a thing in there. So if you put your cheek in there, you might get that stuck on you. I don't know. But you know, what's funny is I don't see it. I don't see it. So I don't know if Coolio just painted that in or if that's, what is that? It's not, uh, it's not actually on the mold. Weird. Who knows? So if this is, is some kind of whale gun, you would definitely want to brace it against something. So maybe it is kind of to hold on, on your cheek. And I don't believe, do you know if this is the actual barrel of the gun or is that just like, that's where the sculptor just said, oh, that's where we're finishing. <laughs> Good afternoon, Teviston. Amberton's just chilling in the hotel as he hates early starts. Ah, okay. Got a very heavy bag in your car stocked with your compressor, light, task light brushes, paints and tools. Realize you've forgotten something, but a bunch of people are posting. You haven't got this or that, so you don't feel so dumb. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I always forget stuff too. You like the new music better? Good. It's just nice to have a change, isn't it? And I like to do that once a year, is get a new, get a new, um, I got my paper towel. Get something new. Mag Paints Minis. Thank you so much for subscribing four months in a row. Yay. Let's write you down here. Paints Minis. Woohoo. Thank you. It would be a much longer barrel. I think so too. <laughs> it just. It is funny when sculptors make that choice, at least. One thing I don't like is when sculptors will, see how he cut it off in the middle of the arm? I think that's better to do it that way so that you don't think he's just missing a limb. It's, it's, it's an obvious choice. What's the worst thing is when a sculptor will cut it off at a knee or at an elbow. That's like a big no-no. Um, and I've seen people do that and it irks me because then it, it, it just doesn't look right to me. All right, lots of paint, lots of paint. Here we go. Getting this base coat is taking me a lot longer than I expected, but I really want this bus, bus to look good. And uh, so I want to take my time. Speaking of taking time, check this out. I think I've showed some of you guys this on Wednesday. I don't know if all of you have seen this yet. Look at this, how awesome. Let me see if I can adjust. There we go. Ah, isn't he awesome? This is, and here's the back. It's not done yet. I have to paint the book. I have to finish painting the little boy's clothes and this bell right here. But I'm pretty much done with the front. And I gotta do this acorn, acorn also. This is a sculpt by Spiro Mirabellis, and it's Lucas Pena Pinochet. I think that's how I say his name. He sculpted this, and he does these limited pre-runs where, like, pre-orders, sorry, you can pre-order his sculpt, and then he'll only make that many, and then he'll make a few extra to sell, but he always um, does limited editions. So if you want one of these, you usually need to get in on the pre-order. So I'm so excited. He's, he did come out really great. Rank. <laughs> Yay, Neil Flick. You are a new subscriber, aren't you? 
Did we just get another point? I think we did. Thank you so much, Neoflick, for your Twitch Prime subscription. That is a nice... We can... Oh, we, that means we got to do a giveaway. Hold on. Neoflick, you got the giveaway unlocked. Oh, my God. Okay. So we hit... So I told everybody we for every... I think we got 212 now. For every six points we'll unlock a giveaway i've got two of these to give away i'm going to give them all i think i'm going to do both of them to the same person mm, it'd just be easier for me so would you rather have oh i know you guys want to have two chances i'll do two chances it's just going to take me fig a minute to figure out how to set up this giveaway okay so here's here's the mini Yes, Gale 70 Plus, they are awesome. You damn certain you've seen that. But you have at Emberton. This was in a book um, called Secret Book of the Gnomes or Gnomes. And it's by two Dutch artists. And it went, vi it like went, not viral, that's not correct. It was in the 80s or in the 90s. No, in the 80s. And um, it was a bestseller, I think. It has had like 87 printings or something. Yay, Turtle Power. <laughs> that's awesome sig wolf hello fun to watch me paint live again yay scattered souls to go do okay i gotta go do this giveaway because we're gonna give these these beautiful babies oh look at that what happened it was dark before but now it's not so we're gonna give these babies away these beautiful you know what i gotta sign them too we'll sign them when i get back but i'm gonna go ahead and start this Deanne the said the sun. Hello. Remember, you guys have to be a follower to be able to win. Okay? This is a follower only um, subscriber. Actually, we should do the subscriber only because this is a sub giveaway. I'm going to do the subscribe. These are painted minis for subscribers, guys. Okay, so you got to be a subscriber to win. Have a little, little purple star by your name. Okay? I'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you so much. So we do have a new discount code for Scale 75. So if you've used the last one, I think you'll be able to use this one again. With Okay, so I've got my mic on. We're all set, right? Okay. And 
the raffle, the exclamation point raffle. Yep, subscribers. Open, close, repick results. I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> awesome. So it'll automatically in 30 minutes pick a winner. So guys, pay attention because I've never done this uh, Streamlabs raffle before. Even Task Manager is frozen. Oh no, Dragon Knight Adam, I'm sorry. Okay, Streamlabs is weird. But you guys got, looks like it's showing you you've got tickets. We're just getting a lot of chat, but that's okay. Where'd my gun go? <laughs> Here it is. Oh my goodness. There we go. The dulcet tones of Shoshi Returns, yes. Dulcet. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know if I'd describe myself as dulcet. Bio student, thank you for the subscribe. Now you can enter and you also get all of those. Um, you get all of those emotes now too. So we're at 213, I believe. Yep, 213 out of 225. So I'm going to kind of do a little hash mark when we get six. Six more points. We'll do another painted mini giveaway. One. Oh, wait, wait. I accidentally did too many. Dang. <laughs> there. Don't mind that one. <laughs> the chat issues is frustrating. You like the fact that it confirms you've entered? I'm sorry. I don't know how to fix it, Sarah. We'll, maybe we'll just do the Phantom Bot raffles. And I've had it, more issues with the Phantom Bot raffles, to be honest, though. We just can't have, we can't ever have nice things, can we? Wonder why it stops allowing you to type once the chat is full. So weird. That is weird. I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's a, an, a limit. I'm gonna pull this up here so you guys can see this better. Oh, it's not me. Oh, you've had it. You should, you should um, tweet, tweet at, um, I know you have Twitter. Tweet at Twitch. There's a Twitch uh, thing. Gosh, I can't speak. Tweet at Twitch and they will, they will help you. I think they're, they actually open a ticket for you while they, while you're on Twitter, I believe. So if you have issues with them, they will fix. Oh, you did not, you do not have Twitter. Oh, so I think you have to go through the website then. And Twitter's the fastest way. feels like a race do you guys re so Amberdon I don't know if you were around back in the old days when I had my old old music they, we had a we had one um, track that was like epic game boss music and it was it would always like make me it was always when we were painting eyes or something really difficult it was always really funny that's what this particular drum solo reminds me of <laughs> there we go. You can paint fast too. Hi, uh, Dragon Dragon Knight Adam. How are you? I'm doing good. needs to dry a little faster but this look at this side is looking really good it's already starting to feel kind of like wood we're just letting things there we go all right Now we're going to move on to, we're going to do this side too. I think I should do, yeah, I'm going to do this with the brown also. 
This is a leather, so we're going to do some stippling on this part. I don't want that on there. Make sure to get all of these little, see all this little spot right here? Got to get that as well. This is something you can tell, like, Julio just airbrushed it and went, done. I can tell. We don't have time to airbrush. You joined after the We Paint Minis theme? Oh, yeah. So that was that was before that was before then. So we we already had the music. So we had gotten rid of that track a long long time before that cuz we did so we had the epic back when we had audio blocks cuz that was some free copyright free music that we did. And then we went ahead and I found a a British um, music producer through Twitter and he was the one that composed and wrote my Shoshi song, the We Paint Miniatures song. And he also did my regular music as well. So that was really nice. See how smooth, how I'm trying to keep things really smooth. I don't, if I'm gonna have brush strokes, I want them to look like they're wood grain. Dragons, Adam Dragon, Adam Dra Dragon Knight Adam says, I've I'm all right, I've been hectic two weeks. You lost your granddad. I'm so sorry. I had your birthday on Monday. Oh my gosh. So much to deal with, huh? <laughs> Steve M.A. says he never uses Explorer for anything. I don't either. I just got it off. I totally took it off my computer because it was such a pain. All right, I think we are almost done with the brown here. Good. Little bits. Okay. This needs to dry. So I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to sit with the hair dryer real quick. I'm going to mute myself. Okay, we're back. Yay, okay, so hey Storm Phoenix, how are you? Are you? If you just joined, we're doing a giveaway for all the subscribers, they're giving away painted mini, so you should type exclamation point raffle. This is the druid turtle that we're giving away. And this is the awesome otter with the bow that we're giving away. Aren't they pretty? It's part of our sub drive for sub emotes. And for those of you guys who aren't subscribers, we do tons of giveaways all the time. So please don't feel left out because we'll be doing other like just follower giveaways at another time for sure. People in my chat can confirm that I'm always I like I like spoiling my my followers. We don't even make you do like uh, any kind of donation or anything. Okay, I think that might be done. Yes. All right. Oh, look, I forgot this right part here.
All right, that's good enough. Um, because we're gonna stipple over this this part. Now, before I do anything with the highlights, I want to put on my shadows. So, I think I'll just use a little black. You'll pass, you'll let somebody who would use them. Okay, no problem. <laughs> All right, so here's the, I mixed a little bit of black with my brown. It's, I'd obviously dirtied up this brown. I'm not so sure I like it, but that's about the right color. We're definitely gonna use the ink over the top of this. So now, I need to take glasses off. I'm gonna use mostly black for this part. I'm gonna go around the edge of this. And this is called dark lining. Basically put in these like little drop shadows all around the edges of stuff to help you also note that this is we're separating the two materials the wood and the metal okay if I get a little bit of black paint in there it's okay because I'm going to feather it out watch this see where I there A little bit of black in this spot right here as well. Just you push it in and then you feather it out. So this is how it's actually gonna appear. So you put the paint down and then you kind of mop it out and see how it's getting lighter and lighter. That's basically, you're, you're doing this mopping of effect and then you're leaving the darkest part into the into the crevices okay I'm gonna just try to do that around all the edges of stuff especially like here that's a big that's like a deep pocket so that's gonna have a darker line. Oh, I really like this riff. There we go. Don't want any crunchy lines, that's all. No crunching. See that? That's a big black blob. I'm gonna feather that. Ah. M much better. Okay, so you can see that that looks pretty good. Now, I'm gonna take that dark color. And I'm going to see if I can draw in a wood grain. This is free-handed. I'm going to use some thin lines and then some thick lines. And then you can, so I want to show you the, the way I'm pressing my brush stroke. Watch. So I start out, I start thin and then I press and you can make it thin or wide rather, and then you lift up a little bit. And so we're kind of doing this to make that wood grain. Does that make sense? Am I using a wettish brush? Yes, yes, absolutely. It's like a, 
It's kind of like two brush blending, but it's just one brush. Does that make sense? I'll put the paint in there and I'll feather it kind of out. Amberdid says, I must confess if I was painting both the wood and the leather, I would use a fantasy colors. This entire box, we're using all the colors on here. It's all scale color. And I think that's because this is more of a historical mini. And so that's the approach that Julio took. And we're deconstructing what he's done and what the box has. So I'm not using any fantasy colors. And we're gonna use ink to get that satin. That's the other thing I forgot to say. The ink will give us a satin look. And then you won't need to use um, paint from another line. All right, I'm using my black in here because this is a nice deep pocket. See that? And then I need to feather that out then ah! with just water. So that it's not a crispy line. Okay, that looks good. Let's do a, a line underneath this pouch. So now what? This is going to be a really good example of the feathering. See. Try to thin it, make it thin. As long as you, as long as you don't have a heavy line, like a heavy, like it looks, looks like a shadow now. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of black around this little button right here. Cause that's gonna become a highlighted area. Where else? Um, over here. I'm going to use a little brown on this one part. You can also wet blend in there too to get your feather. Okay, so again with the black thin grain lines, when we put the ink on there, that should get darker. Ooh, that's, see, that's way too black. Way too black, so I can take it. Just wipe it back off. Saved like the mopping sound effect yep <laughs> oh you missed so much it's okay cajun mange you really haven't missed too much what was the consistency of the black that's yeah that's look so i kind of made this like see this wet puddle of it's actually black and brown and it's it's almost like almost glaze like but that way i can make my make my lines and then if they if I want to make them darker I can add a little bit more black like this see so that's pretty nice wood grain there Yeah, I'd say that looks like wood. Now let's do the back. Most of the back you're not going to see. Got to connect it to the other. I don't want to leave like little bite marks. Okay. Let's do this side. A little bit more black in here. Okay. And it's gonna dry. You're not gonna be able to see it as well now. Okay. Now, I got that. This is the point where I may do the ink. I think this is the point. Well, no, we're gonna do the light part first. Let me look at this. Yeah, 
think we're gonna do, looks like we do light part ink and then light part again. So there's like a double, there's two highlights. Yeah, no problem. Anytime you guys have any questions or you want me to slow down and explain something, just ask me. I will always try. Let's see, I need, so I'm gonna get my inks out. Let's see where they are. Mm -hmm. I have scale 75 inks, but I just don't know where I put them. I think they might be in here. Um, hmm. That's not it. Oh, I know where they are. Wait, no, that's not them. There they are. Found them. I need the brown. Where's the brown? You know, it's funny, like I always put stuff away so that I can find it and then I can't find it. Hmm, black metal. I've got the green ink. It doesn't have the, I don't have all my inks together. Rah. Wait, there it is, intense wood, ha ha, success. And I have my little wavy, put some of this in here. And I'm thinking, let's take a look, where is my wood, here we go. Let's do the wood grain with the orange leather. Now this is the orange leather right here, scale 7528. Oh, thank you so much, Meat Moop. <laughs> I like your name. So what was just watered down? It was like the black and the brown. It was brown leather and black. So scale 7500 and scale 7531. All right, I gotta take glasses off because I need to be able to see where my wood grain is here. See, we're gonna follow the line here. Now, if it's not perfectly smooth line, it's okay because wood is not perfectly smooth either. I'm gonna thin this a little bit though. I think it needs a little bit of water added to it so I can make it flow better. Yay, oh my gosh, a subscriber. Bracken, wait, how do I say? Oh my goodness, Holly Monsters, thank you. Wow, did we just, we just hit another giveaway? Oh my gosh. Dragon Knight Adam just subscribed. You guys just, oh my goodness. Hold on, I'm all like, we have to write all this down. <laughs> Evil Toad, oh my gosh. Where's my pen? Where's my mouse? It's on the floor. This always catches me off guard when people do these gift subs. Sugar Rush, oh my goodness. This is so cool. Okay. We're gonna write this down. Oh my god. <laughs> Dragon Knight Adam, you can subscribe. You're subscribed now. Now everybody has access to these emotes. Oh my gosh, okay. So, Holly Monster is just a beautiful, wonderful soul. She gave Frankenwash, is that right? Frank Wash. Yeah, Frank Wash, Dragon Knight Adam, Evil Toad, Sugar Rush 22, Starbuck, 8785 that all of them subscribe subscriptions so now you guys can all enter the giveaway and i believe we have one too i, I think we are now oh, we unlocked another mini so we have to give away another mini now i haven't finished this one but i have this awesome little chameleon bard that i can give away i just have to finish him so if you're okay with waiting on that we can do three giveaways today holy cow oh my gosh so now we're at 218 out of, 
me moop thank you for the follow oh my gosh new followers over here meep moop i'm gonna i'm gonna not write down your big number if that's okay <laughs> okay i gotta write this down real quick we got frank wash not a dragon knight adam all right give me a stone anybody sub or follow for a minute so i can have a chance <laughs> to catch up um evil toad and don't forget all of you guys are now eligible to enter the giveaway toad sugar rush 22 and Starbuck 8785. Wow, thank you so let's give uh let's give Holly Monster some major hype guys. That's so awesome. Starbuck 8785. Wow. And now I gotta catch up on chat because I missed a whole bunch. Yay, we gave her some hype. Yay, you will never know. <laughs> Cute. Oh, yeah, that bard is, this is, he's, he is super cute. He comes with a couple of cards too. There's a whole game. I'm going to paint him exactly like this. Look at that. La! <laughs> John, the ballad of the John the Bard. Since John was a young lad of adventure, he did dream up high on the Horaku canopies, cantrips he did sing. His clan of the triad were so proud and wise, but they cared little about the world below with chins high in the skies. Knowing there would be challenges, John trained very hard, yet with a little to fight, he became the town's bard. Aww. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm sweating. I'm like so for clamps. That's so cool. Yeah, that's from the game Wander. My friends from Wander will be really happy about seeing that painted. All right, we have three giveaways. Did, did the other giveaway already go off yet? Did the Streamlabs giveaway go off? I think we're still doing it, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. So, so I don't know if there's a way for the Streamlabs to pick three people. Is there? We should pick three winners. Maybe I can adjust it. Let me go check. gosh there's like only like 55 seconds or less, less than 55 seconds it's gonna pick so everybody who hasn't in the, uh, entered the raffle hit exclamation point raffle real quick because uh it's gonna it, yeah it's gonna pick like any minute now like 21 seconds this is fun i like i like the streamlabs giveaway better <gasps> We need a good luck emote. I know we do. That maybe that'll be one of our emotes. Okay. Oh, it picked. You. Did it pick? Is it gonna say? Hold on. I think I have to hold on, Starbuck.
Do I do the mic? There. Sorry. Okay. You will never know. You get first pick. Which one do you want? I gotta write these down so I don't forget who gets what. 404, mic not found. <laughs> okay. You will never know gets first pick. John, he wants John. You will never know. Okay, send me your info so I can mail this to you. John the Bard. Okay, he's spoken for. Now the next one. This is so fun, guys. I love this. Forever, forever night. Which one do you want? You get the you get the druid, turtle, and look at the back. Isn't that pretty? Or the otter, the otter with the bow. Facebook or Twitch. Actually, Twitch is probably better. Do it through whisper me through Twitch. Forever Night here. You get a pick, Forever Night. This is for you. Which one do you want? I don't know if he's here. <laughs> I'll message him if he if he's not on. Okay, so that leaves. Wait, we got a message. No, we don't got a message. Okay. All right, so then, uh, Agent Deadpan, which one would you like to get? Yeah, Agent, which one? Is he here, Agent Deadpan? That's okay. You, yeah, you missed some stuff at Ashcan Lane. That's okay. <laughs> All right, I'll just pick four of you guys if they're not here. And Agent might have left also. All right, so... Agent Deadpan and the other one was, let me write down the correct names. Oh, Agent underscore dead, Deadpan, I don't want to mess that up. And then Forever Night with a one. Okay, good. I'm so excited. That was really fun. I want to do that again. All right. So in order, so in order to get, so now we filled that up, right? We had six. We have two eighteen. That was that was six, and so let's make this an eight. Two eighteen out of two twenty five. So if we get six more subscribers, one, two, three, four, five, six, we'll give away another one. And I do have another one. Ooh. Should I give that away? Could we get a, a tier three subscriber? Ooh. I'm just taunting you. I'm teasing you guys, aren't I? <laughs> Wave the pain and minis in your face. Kissy kissy. <laughs> I did like it, but I'm I love giving I'm like Oprah and like Rosie O'Donnell. I love giving away all the things. <laughs> I really want to paint this though. I'm going to paint. We'll see what happens. All right. So now I'm making some wood grain here. And if it's a little bright, it's okay because it's going to get, we're going to put the, we're going to put the, um, whatchamacallit, the ink on top. And so that will change. The texture and the finish. See, it's already starting to look and feel like wood a little bit. What I like to do sometimes is practice stuff on the back. Feel like a little more free because if I mess up on the back it doesn't matter nobody sees it okay all right 
right now now here's where we we're gonna glaze a little bit let's look at the box so the box here's the way here's the direction we're gonna we're gonna glaze over some of the edges where the lights hitting the edge of the wood a little bit more emphasizing some of the some of the hard corners of this sun. And it's not it's not particularly here, I'll show you how thin I'm doing it. This is about as as thick as the paint needs to be for the glaze. Did I miss something? Me move oh that's a, such a cute emote. Am I using the ink straight? I'm not using the ink yet. I will water down the ink just a, just a tiny bit because it's so thick. Did I manage to rework my knight's cloak? My knight's cloak? My knight's cloak. Yeah. Oh, I, no, I'm still in progress with that. I know Now I know what you're talking about, Amber. No, sometimes with some of these personal projects, I'm bouncing back and forth between them. So I need to get some epoxy sculpt. I need to, he's, he's gonna be one of these long term, like the bard, he's gonna take a long time. Cause I, he's gonna, oh, that looks good. Can you guys see the wood grain? Let me see. Yes, you can. Oh my gosh, it looks like wood. See how that looks and it's subtle. It's bright right there, but we're gonna, we're gonna, okay, so now, Again, we need to highlight. I need to take glasses off. I'm just gonna get, this is the part where the sun or whatever your light source is, is gonna be emphasizing that most. And I can go over here and it's all like edge highlight. Edge highlight this part right here. Not too much, just, just, just a little bit, right? Here's the side. Might not even end up seeing this side because it's on the literally other side of the gun. You don't want any crisp lines. Not like this isn't edge highlighting like uh, like Warhammer. This is sm smooth blended edge highlighting. Does that make sense? All right, ready for the ink. Got the ink in my palette. I'm thinning it out just a little bit. Okay, this is the wood ink. Ooh, big cat here, guys. Hello. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. That's pretty. See how that, see this is, makes it so we don't need the, don't need the satin paint at all. And do you see how it deepened everything? It really makes it look like wood. Now where's my ink? Here we go. Ink tents. All right, flip it, flip it and reverse it. I'm pushing the ink into the edges. Let me move this, it's distracting. <laughs> we had a cat here. This is why you wanted to see Shushy working on the wooden leather. Yeah. Yeah, you missed what it was you were applying. I'm applying ink intensity. Where'd it go? It's always on my desk, but I can't find it. Ink intensity, ink tense wood, but we thinned it out a little bit. Thinned it about, um, let's see how much it's thinned out. Like that. See? Not like super dense ink. Just a little dot dot dot, not a lot. It's what we say in kindergarten class I sub for sometimes. 
All right. So it's drying. It's not drying too satin, so I might do another layer. And I'm good this time. I'm just like I'm going to keep it. This time it's much thicker, and I'll feather it out. Right. Feather out. Put it in the edges. Put the ink in the edges, like down in here where this metal is, and then feather it out with water so that it is not crazy thick all over the place, glossy. I'm happy with that. Yay, okay, that looks nice. Need to let that dry a little bit. Don't mess with it too much while it's drying because you'll make like a, you'll make a mess, you'll make a mess. Let's go ahead and work on this little pouch. I need a sponge. Let's see, hmm, where, here we go. You can take the, uh, the sponge out of an old blister pack, right? Just a little piece, not that little piece, that, just like that. Okay, we're gonna get this to look like leather. We need to, first of all, we need to make some more, make this darker, muddier. We did this on the Joe, um, Joe Cassidy bus. Do you guys remember that? We did this technique on his apron and it came out really nice. Okay. Try not to get any brush strokes. Okay. Let's see if I can do this while this is drying. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use walnut. Walnut is a completely different brown color, but you can see that is the brown that they used on the, <laughs> he just robbed it from me. <laughs> I need to get out of here with the amazing new saying. I'm totally gonna write down. What did I say? Use what talents you possess. The woods would be very silent if no birds sang there except those that sang best. <gasps> Ash Kathleen, that is so fantastic. That is a great saying. Let me write that down too. And I'm also gonna give Ash Kathleen some points because that's beautiful. Gift. Okay, we're gonna give you five points for that. Ta da Right? Okay, so let me write it down. I got it. That's a long sentence. Hold on. Get a room. <laughs> uh, use what talents you possess. Do you know who said that originally, Ash Kedlane? Did you make that up, or is that somebody else's quote? That needs to be like a meme. The woods would be very silent. If no birds sang there except those that sang best. I love that. Saying those that sang best. Totally writing that down. New motto. Okay, where's my pen lid? I'm so fail today. What? I wouldn't have my head if I didn't have it on my shoulders right now. Man. I think I dropped it on the floor. Yep, I hear it. Nope, I don't. Well, I'll find it. It always turns up. If you guys saw this desk, oi, oi, oi. All right, this is drying. 
we're gonna get <laughs> let me we'll scroll down I miss chat Henry Van Dyke okay now I need to write that down Henry Van Dyke that's who said that that's awesome I love it I just wish I could find my pen cap I hate it when I lose pen caps <sighs> my goodness okay so we we're gonna we we're gonna use the walnut and we're gonna put some on the sponge well, the big sponge is better and I, I got it on here but I need to make sure not too much almost like a dry brush and we're just gonna pop 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 Pop, 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 pop. That looks a little leathery, doesn't it? I might have to go back and forth with a little bit of different colors. Okay. It's almost there. Might need to go back over it a little bit. Let me look at the box. I think I need to add a little bit of something lighter. Let me try adding, no, that's got so much yellow in it. This is the color. We'll add a little bit of this white sands and see if that lightens it up just a smidge. Yeah, that's good. I like that. So this is the color I made. It's lighter. Let's take the sponge. Yeah, it looks good. Is that dry? Okay. You're missing so much darn work that needs to be done. Did we miss a stretch? We did. But I've been getting up and getting out of my seat quite a bit looking for stuff. So I guess I'll do a stretch break right now and look for my pen lid because I really want to find it. I feel like it's on the ground here. Uh, stretch. Yeah, it's not down here. It's on my desk somewhere. Stretch your back. Okay. Hmm. I found it. Ha ha. Huzzah. <laughs> I got it. That was a good stretch. Yeah, post, post, um, what are you going to post to my Twitch page? Post it to my... Yeah, message me or something. Oh yeah, you know, you could you could post it. That's totally fine. All right, now I'm going to take that black and that brown a little bit. Actually, and some of that ink as well. I'm going to go in here and accentuate that line right there and then a little bit of an under painting right here as well. And I'm going to leave this mat, I think. Let me look at this again we get a contrast between the shiny wood and the matte leather and it looks good it looks like it looks like leather to me yeah yeah add a little bit of darker brown with the, the brush where right here maybe there's a little bit of shadow it's called stippling where you just go ch -ch 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 that's my sound effect. See how we added a little shadow with the stipple? I feel like we need to add more ink to the wood. It's not shiny enough. Let's, let's add more, more ink. That's mostly straight ink now. And now I'm going to smooth it around. I don't want it 
it super, super shiny. I just want it a little bit shiny. That's about the shininess that I want. Looks good. Ooh. All right, flip it. See, we had more, more ink on this side because I was being more bold because it's the other side. I can experiment more. Hi, RJ Bauer, how are you? Oh, you missed the stream? That's okay. Speaking of which, RJ Bauer, you need to message me about the courier because we have to we have to talk about that because I need to ask you a question. There we go. A little bit more ink. I got too much on my brush. There we go. So we're gonna we're gonna um probably have to stop this project in the middle somewhere because we're going to pick up that vampire bust and do the paint along but i'm going to do this in, in in multiple parts so you'll be able to watch all of this on youtube if you decide that you want to attempt to do sort of a paint along with this all right that looks that looks like wood to me it doesn't let's see if it matches it does, but now we need to add the highlights because there's we, we killed all our highlights with the ink on top. So I'm going to get some more orange, orange leather. <laughs> and I'm going to highlight all of these corners with it. Remember what I said about smooth corners? They need to be smooth. And this is almost a more of a glaze than a than a straight up. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's do a little bit on this side. See, does that feel like wood? All right, and then again with the, this part right here, I'm just gonna, I took a little bit of this lighter walnut and I'm gonna put the highlights over here, stipple. Make my stippling sound. Right here and right here. Okay, looks like a leather pouch. Like I said, I'm just kind of trying to trying to re deconstruct what Julio's done and copy. And I studied with him enough. I kind of and kind of get in his head and get an idea of what he's done. Okay, and I see some more oranges right here. There's like a little bend in the wood. It's subtle, but it's right here. Let me see. And this is much more, much less subtle up here. All right. Let's do the metal blue metal and like I said I don't I think we've used let's see I think we're gonna use these two and definitely this and maybe a skosh no I don't think we're gonna use that I think we're just gonna use these three. Oh, do not say that storm phoenix oh my gosh <laughs> we are family friendly Mad King Zach, thank you for the follow. My goodness, we got my pen lid back so I can write down your name. Welcome to the chat. We didn't even have the alert pop up yet and I already see you in there. All right, Abyssal Blue, 
little flat black, a little bit of Arctic blue. That's our colors for the for the metal part of the yeah the the steel part of the wood or not wood steel part of the metal. What am I thinking? <laughs> Yay! There's our alert for Mad King Zach. So let's see. I think what I will do is I'll just paint this entire part with the abyssal blue. This is abyssal blue is a lot like um what's the name of that color deep sea blue it's a lot very much similar shall i post a picture of of this uh gun on on uh on my instagram and on my facebook after we finish this so you guys can see a little close-up picture i need to look at this i'm messing up some of the some of the metal here okay yeah okay so that all is blue this whole part right here is all blue Good, I did that right. Okay, and then, then this whole part up here is also blue. I'm gonna check chat. <laughs> yes, post it. Okay, I will definitely post it. I always get distracted sometimes. I mean to post things and then I don't. By the way, those of you guys who won minis, um, you gotta message me your info somehow, either on Facebook or on Twitch, and let me know. Um, yes, okay, so let's see. This little circle up here is blue. I'm just blocking in my colors so I don't forget what's what. The rest is gonna be gold. All right, get that out of the way. This is all blue too. Nice, and this is also blue. I'm gonna go ahead and take, see how I had it Zenithal primed? I'm just taking that, mopping up that paint so that highlight is already there. Does that make sense? Okay. So I leave that little circular highlight there. Circular, not circular. You know what I mean. Okay, that might be it. I think that's it for the blue. That needs to dry though. I can't mess with that until that's all dry. Okay, Woo. let me take a look at chat and see. It is four o'clock guys. Holy cow, we have a half an hour left. I think we could probably get the rest of the metal painted. Hey, Telebadger. We don't all sit here in awe for Marv, uh, for you to hoard the finished product. Show she's many. Sheesh. Echo Chill, thank you for the follow. Okay, where's my pen? Echo Chill, thank you. Here you go. Welcome. Okay. So now we're going to use this. Arctic blue. This is our highlight color. And I believe there's some black in there, but I'm going to do the highlights before I go down and shade it a little bit. All right, so this is metal. So one of the things I've learned from Julio is you got to you got to paint all your edges first. 
So I'm gonna go in here, paint the edge carefully like that. And then I'm gonna use the brush and feather it out, right? We need more paint. Okay, I need water now. This is hard. There we go, that's not bad. Didn't turn out how I wanted it to, so I need more blue. This part down here is much darker. There, that sorta didn't work. <laughs> we'll get it. We want this part to be highlighted. So we can wet blend it now. I've got a nice pointy brush. There we go. Oh man, that kind of worked. Hmm. You guys like seeing me get frustrated on stuff too. It's funny. All right, leave that. I'll let that dry and then come back to it. And then meanwhile, I'll paint the other edges to stuff. I'm going to mix a little black with this one. Sometimes it's easier to use a, a less light color. Less light color, is that? That's not English. So this is, again, feathering, feathering. Sort of worked. Sometimes non-metallic metal is one of those things where you just have to fuss and fuss and fuss. It's not a fast technique. You want to do non-metallic metal? Be ready to be slow. Be ready to be frustrated and annoyed. That's what I get. <laughs> All right, so this this right here is the barrel of the gun. It's got us it's a cylinder, so it needs to have kind of a sharp line, but it's also not a the more um burnished the metal is the more the less of sharp the line is going to be we have chat the barrel is harpoonish like and it fits the theme i guess so that's why you, it's so short me so somebody was saying that this this see how the pouch is cut off too this is basically the gun has been cut off by the sculptor to fit the bottom of how his the waist is cut as well everything is cut so it's it's that's the reason why it's so short you're gonna have to watch the VOD on your big desktop screen you can't see enough detail on your iPad yeah so I don't know I can see quite a lot of detail on my screen so I think that might work <laughs> we're not supposed to sit here and ask <laughs> No, you're not. <laughs> you're supposed to see me fail in public, remember? That's why you're here. All right, so look at this. This is a disc, and it definitely looks like he's stippled. Like, Pulio's um, non-metallic is very intuitive, I would say. It doesn't... He does spot. He does a lot of this um, edges stuff. A lot of edges, for sure. There we go. I got that blend finally. Okay, let's do a little sharp line down here. I'm gonna smooth it out with my finger. 
Yes, I'm finger painting a little bit. All right, that's that looks good. Looks gunish. Gunish, is that a word? I feel like I missed some of the blue back here. Like it's not completely painted. Do the whole thing over again, just in case. There. <laughs> okay, let's pretend. Yeah, sure. Good night, Dragon Knight, Adam. Don't forget, um, Dragon Knight, you won, you won something, so. Oh, no, you didn't. It was, sorry, you got to subscribe. That's what you got. That was cool. I was thinking, dead, dead, Agent Deadpan Forever Knight. Forever Knight won something. So if, if anybody sees them, I will message them and let them know. What'll happen is if I can't reach them, we'll go ahead and do a giveaway on a different on a different day. We'll give we'll do another giveaway. Sometimes maybe I think that we should just do um, must be present for some things because it just takes so much time to to get back to people. All right, that looks good enough to me. Let's do this little deal right there. Paint the edges of all the things. I think that's supposed to be gold. That's okay. Supposed to be. There we go. Now I'm going to go back in my blue because this line's way too heavy. There we go. A little bit more here. Good. I did it. The rest is gold. Let's look. It looks like his base is an ochre color. See how he's painted the edges of things? Let's use, I think it's either this one or this one. I think I'm going to use this one, Arabic Shadow, for my base. I've got to shake it really nice. Mr. Stoiak, you're off to bed. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> I derped. Yeah, I did derp. <laughs> You'll gladly take it if they don't. All right, I'll message you if I if they don't. <laughs> please, please, please post a picture on your Facebook so you can be awed by my painting prowess. That's funny. All right. My, my copying painting prowess of copying Julio's, yeah, Julio's prowess, actually. WWJD, what would Julio do? He really is such a fantastic painter, guys. If you ever have the chance to either go to Spain or take a class from Julio Cabos, you've got to do it because he's so good. I'm leaving some of my shadows black. Not all of them, but some of them. A little water, a little, little bit thick. There we go. So do you have anybody any plans this weekend? Is anybody gonna go see Venom? I'm gonna go see it. I've heard, I've heard not great things about it, but I still really want to see it because I love Venom. I was a big Venom fan in the '90s. I had a bunch of his his comics. He didn't have too many in the beginning, but yeah. Okay, so all of this. This is all the gold trim. It's to be the see how now we we already did that dark lining and it looks really good with it now.
flip it. Flip, flip, flip. This whole part is also gold. I'm gonna check chat. Don't forget to use purple shade on gold non-metallic metal. Yeah, we'll probably use, um, there's no purple in all the paint, so I'm guessing it'll be an ink. But yeah, we'll definitely do that. Let me look at this. Uh, it doesn't look like he used, maybe a little bit. It looks like he used more the the, maybe a little wood grain ink. I'm not sure. We'll try it. We'll see what happens. It's pretty easy to tell what Julio's done. This is a, a like a deconstructing a box art. Deconstructing a box art. That's what I should have titled it. One of the tags that I chose for the stream because you get to choose like up to five tags. Oh, I forgot this. All this is supposed to be gold. Jeez. Jeez, Shoshi. Way to skip it. All that trim. Missed it. <laughs> okay. Needs a couple extra coats because this is, I, I did thin it at one point. Okay. That looks good. I'm going to do this in here. See, it's all coming together. Nice. I like that. All right, flip it, flip it. What else? Mike and I are also, we're, we're going to see, there was something else we were gonna go do. We're gonna go see Venom. And I don't remember what he said we were gonna do before that, but. There we go, okay. This is the tedious part, right? This is the part where everybody, everybody gets bored. Gold, but you get to watch, because I mean, non-metallic is a time consuming thing. If anybody ever commissions me to do non-metallic, I'll do it, but it will definitely cost a little bit more because it is time consuming. It's not, it's not a quick, not a quick one, see? Just base coating that, that took some time. Oh my goodness, I'm seeing all kinds of X, X mistakes from, we're gonna put some, a little bit of a, there we go. Put some more ink back over that. Maybe that will dry. Okay. Now let's look at the box art again. There is definitely spots where there's ink on this um, as well and it goes really high up. These are the colors we've used here, Dubai Brown. 
the Teneri yellow. We should probably start with the Teneri yellow and then shade down and then shade back up with the white. Do I always prime minis with the airbrush? I almost always do, yeah, just because I like Steinle Res Primer and it gets the smoothest base. If you have, so rattle cans for me, I live in Illinois and rattle cans always have the chance of getting kind of a gritty surface. And so if I constantly use airbrush, then I don't ever need to worry about the humidity or anything like that. There's a cat hair, oh my gosh, there we go. All right, let's look at the box art. There is a bright, I'm gonna put, I'm just blocking in color to start where my brightest stuff is. We've got a line, a line of highlight here. And here, this whole area right here is gonna be bright. And this whole spot right here. I'm just, like I said, I'm just blocking in the color and then I can go ahead and lighten stuff later. That is all bright. The edges, paint the edges. Okay. A little bit of one here too. That is already starting to look reflective, doesn't it? This pull part right here. A little bit of this. There's orange on this, I think. Reflecting the wood. Okay, do the edge on this part of the gun. And then up here as well. It's really rough right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna go in and fix a lot of this. Okay. I'm gonna mix a little bit of the Teneri Yellow with my base color. This is where we're blending now. Getting that next mid-tone color, see, like this. And then go darker and darker till you get down to the base. It needs to have less, less and less of the Teneri Yellow in it and more and more of that base so that it's smooth transition and I can go back in with the trinary as well there we go and I'm again I'm mopping it back and forth so I can smooth it all my edges now he's got just a smidge of that orange so I'm using that orange leather I'm going to glaze a smidge of that over here. I do like that. Ooh, that music transitioned interesting. Oh, this is supposed to be metal. I messed that up. That's okay. We'll fix it. Okay, I'm gonna check chat. I keep missing chat, and that's why you guys are gonna get quiet on me. Meow, there was another cat here. Hello from Spain. Yucarta Ganero? Is that how it, or Euscarta Ganero? I don't know how to say your name. Hola. We are painting the Julio Cabos. Um, this one, what are we, we're painting this, see? 
Now I'm gonna use some of this, um, this is the, the lighter, brighter color for the edge right there, boom, ba. And do the same thing over here. And then I can brush a little bit of the Teneri yellow over the top of that as well. If I need to smooth. There we go. This part is also supposed to be, let's do a little bit of the orange in there on the side here. It's, it's probably gonna look better to you guys. Yeah, it already looks better on camera than it does in person. <laughs> let's do a little bit of mixed. There we go. Just get that. Non-metallic metal is hard. Okay. Looks like there's a little bit of orange over here too. And on top of here. Now, the darkest part is, I believe, ink. So I'm gonna get ink here. Let's see if I can add a little bit of, let's try it. Let's just try plain ink and see what happens. Oh, that was my music starting over. That means it's time, time to get going. It actually doesn't look too bad. Not bad, huh? There we go. Put some in here. It needs to be a little darker, so I'm gonna add a little bit of black, a little bit of blue, I think, maybe even, to my ink. Yeah, that's better. gives my contrast back. Ooh. All right, guys, I'm gonna look for somebody awesome to host. I'll take pictures of this and put this up on my Instagram so that we can, we can follow along the journey. There we go. It's getting there. Yes, yeah, stream is almost over. <laughs> Muscari Cartagena. Cartagena. Oh, okay. The land who I am and the city where I live. Very cool. All right. Let's see who we have. We have Obaka TV. We have Napster. We have Maharoon. Studio J7. Studio J7 doing today. He's making us field. Okay. What's Napster doing? Mm. I don't know what he's doing. He's painting, but it looks like an orc. Syntropic. What's Syntropic doing? Ooh. Hard to see, though. Okay, I think we're gonna host Napster today. I don't think I've hosted him in a while either. He is definitely a channel friend. Okay, cut. Ooh, good night, everybody. 
um, if everybody wants to join in on the raid and join us, I'm going to put Mad Love. All right. Let's see if I can transition here into our ending music. Live. Let's see. All right. So, Mad Love. Go ahead and copy and paste. We're going to raid Napster. Oh, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. It didn't work. There we go. Oh, I already have it in progress. All right, good. All right, guys, mad love, and let's go give Napster follow, or follows and raids, and we're going to go ahead and paint more of this on Monday. So come back at the same time, 2.30 to 4.30, and watch us paint the rest of this.